everyone. I am Shana Orzik Sissel, founder, president, and CEO of Bonran Capital Management. You know, last week I dropped our first episode of uh, you're doing it all wrong. Uh, and I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of walk through the pr the purpose of the series uh, and give you more color into what you can expect in the future. First, please excuse me, where I am. I'm in New York City speaking at The Money Show uh, Global Investment Summit. And also want to apologize for the fact that like speaking into the void of a camera with no one on the other end is a little hard for me. So in the first episode that I did, that was sort of a um, spur of the moment decision after having a really interesting conversation with a colleague. And so it was a little abrupt and a little awkward for me, but you got to start somewhere, right? So you're doing it all wrong is a series that Bonran will be doing on a regular basis. And our goal is to address myths and misunderstood concept and alternatives. So that's going to be everything like what we did in our first episode, which is talking about risk and are alternatives riskier. It's going to be things like what is an alt? It's going to be addressing concerns about fees and performance and uh, access and all the things of that nature. Sometimes it might be a history lesson. Sometimes it might be a specific educational point on a type of alternative investment. But the goal here is to be an educational resource for all things related to the alternative investment world. And, you know, I'm going to start um, just with this thought for you. Alternative investments are a massive universe of things because it's not really what they are, it's really what they aren't. And quite frankly, if it's not long only stocks or long only bonds, it's alternative. Anything that uses derivatives, shorting, that's private equity, private credit, private market, taking advantage of arbitrage. I spoke to a manager recently that does arbitrage between uh, open market trading and aftermarket trading, and that would be considered an alternative. These are all kinds of strategies that fall into the alternative bucket. So it's a massive universe and not all alts are equal. I really focus and Bonnerin really focuses on helping advisors scale alternatives as a diversifier and then also helping educate them on these other types of alternatives, uh, like the private equity and private credit and figuring out where it makes sense. And there's a lot of important uh, aspects to that, mostly because something like private equity, in my opinion, is not a diversifying alternative. It's a better mousetrap. It's certainly a better way to get potential outsized returns in your equity portfolio, but it should be in your equity portfolio because in essence, it's equity. It's private, but it's equity. So it's part of your stocks and part of that allocation. And I would make the same argument for credit. And there's a lot of other non-liquid things like timber and real estate, and they can all have an interesting component in your portfolio. Now, I would argue timber and real estate, especially private real estate, can and should be in your diversified alternative bucket. But then we get into questions about liquidity constraints and there is alpha and illiquidity. So lots of things to consider, lots of things that we wanna take on as topics, but we wanna keep our videos short, five minutes-ish at most, so that it's easy to digest and easy to learn from. We encourage you to ask questions. We want to help you learn more about the space because we think it's really important for investors of all types, including your average everyday run-of-the-mill quote unquote, Main Street investor to gain access to these products because they really do have value in diversifying portfolios. And you can have a better outcome by implementing some of these strategies. They aren't just for the rich anymore. They aren't just for the people who meet that accredited investor hurdle. And we will actually talk about the definition of accredited and qualified purchaser and qualified client. Um, all of these things will be part of our educational series. So I wanna encourage you to subscribe and look for new videos in the future because I think you'll really enjoy our series. And if you have questions or concerns, that's what our team's here to do. We're here to help advisors scale their business Above and beyond just the educational component, we want to be your one-stop shop for all things alternative. We have an amazing proprietary um, technology tool that allows us to really make this a, a very easy and efficient way for you to kind of implement it into your overall business model. 
And we want to be a trusted partner and expert in the space to help you succeed uh, where so many haven't in the past. And also so that it makes it so that you can run your business more efficiently and really stand out from your competitors. So with that, thank you for watching. And like I said, like and subscribe to this video and keep your eye open because we will have more in this series. Thank you so much for all your support and for watching. Have a great day.